Hello guys, it's Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to make a fish curry with mutter. Mutter means peas, green peas. I am going to make super tasty, super delicious ruhu fish curry with green peas. It's a very easy recipe but super delicious to eat with specially boiled rice. But you may enjoy it with roti or chapati as well. So guys, let's see the recipe. Here I have taken about 750 grams of ruhu fish. I washed them for 5 to 6 times with some salt very nicely, very clearly and of course drained the water nicely. And here I have taken 2 medium sized onions finely chopped, 2 medium sized tomatoes finely chopped, some fresh coriander leaves finely chopped and 1 tablespoon full of crushed ginger garlic. You may take the paste instead, there is no problem. And here I have taken about 1 cup of uh, green peas. It's frozen, but you may take the fresh one, there is no problem. Mine were also fresh, just I kept them in the freezer. So these are the things we need to arrange and the rest of the things we need are already available in the kitchen. So I am showing them later. At first we need to marinate the fishes. So at first I am adding about 1 teaspoon salt to the fishes and about half teaspoon of turmeric powder and now we need to mix the salt and turmeric powder very nicely with the fishes i'm using my hand like this and after mixing nicely we need to rest it for about 10 minutes for a nice marination so it's mixed nicely after about 10 to 12 minutes let's go for frying so i have taken a frying pan and turned the heat on I am adding some cooking oil and uh, spreading it nicely on the frying pan. After the oil is heated well, we need to add the fishes one by one in the frying pan. The heat is on high now. So I am adding the fishes one by one. And after that we need to wait for some time for about 2 to 3 minutes on medium to high heat. And after that we need to flip them. Now I am flipping them and in this process we need to fry all of them until a nice red color. So all of them are fried well. I am removing the frying pan from the heater and putting a kadai that means curry pan and turning the heat on again. Now I am adding some cooking oil in the pan. After the oil is heated well we need to add some tadka. Half teaspoon of cumin seeds, 2 to 3 bay leaves, and a pinch of asafoetida. We need to let them crackle well, especially the cumin seeds, and after that, we need to add the onions in the pan. So, I am adding them. After adding onions, we need to fry them until a nice brown color. The heat should be on medium now. And after the color is brown, I am adding the crushed ginger garlic in the pan. Now we need to stir it nicely until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone. And after that we need to add the tomatoes. After adding tomatoes, we need to add some salt according to taste. I am mixing a little and after that I am going to use some powder spices. So I am adding about 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, red chili powder according to taste. Now I am adding 1 teaspoon of kanda lasun masala. It's actually a Maharashtrian spices mixture. If you don't have it then skip it, there is no problem. Now I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala. I am adding a little water to avoid burn from the bottom. Mixing everything well and after mixing well, we need to cover the pan for some time on low to medium heat. I think I need some more water, so I added it. And while cooking the spices mixture, we need to add the frozen uh, green peas. With the green peas, we need to cook the spices. So I am covering the pan for some time. In between, we need to uncover the pan and stir the mixture very nicely. To check the mixture and to avoid burn from the bottom. We need to cook it until the water is dried up and the tomatoes are nicely soft and oil is released from the spices mixture. After about 5 to 6 minutes all of the things are done. The water is dried up and the tomatoes are nicely soft and some oil is released from the spices mixture. So now we need to add some water for gravy. 
Add the water quantity according to your choice, how much thick or thin you want your gravy. So, I'm also adding water according to my choice. I think some more water is needed, so I'm adding it. After that, I'm covering the pan for some time on high heat until it starts to boil. And it has started to boil nicely. So now I'm going to add the fried fishes in the curry. Here are they. I'm adding them one by one. After adding the fishes, I'm going to add some sugar, about half teaspoon of sugar. This quantity of sugar will make the fishes prominent and help the fishes not break in the curry. So I'm adding about half teaspoon of sugar. After that, I'm going to cover the pan for about 10 to 12 minutes on medium heat until the peas are nicely cooked and the gravy consistency is according to our choice. So after about 12 minutes, this is the texture of the curry. The gravy consistency is perfect for me and I'm checking the peas and they are cooked very nicely. So at the end of this recipe, we need to add some other things. I'm adding some fresh coriander leaves. Half teaspoon of garam masala again. After adding coriander leaves, we need to boil the curry for another one minute on medium heat. And after that, at the end of this recipe, I'm going to add some kasuri methi. I roasted about one teaspoon of kasuri methi and here it is. I'm rubbing it in my palms and adding it in the curry. I'm mixing the curry a little. And after that, our curry is ready. I'm turning the heat off and now I'm going to show the pieces of fish. None of the pieces are broken as I'm showing you. So, they are looking so tempting. So guys, let's serve the curry. You have seen guys, the recipe is very easy. But it's super delicious to eat with especially boiled rice. And you may enjoy it with roti and chapati as well. So guys, try this simple recipe at home. And don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.